Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read, and today I'm going to be doing a queer book box unboxing. Yeah, so essentially I'll show you guys the unboxing, um, and then I'll show you some books that I picked up afterwards because a couple of these books I'm pretty excited about and I wanted to show them off. They're not like, I didn't accumulate enough books to do a giant book haul, so that's why I'm just kind of like tagging this on to the end of this video. But yeah, stay tuned for those. So I actually reached out to the company Queer Book Box because of somebody named Moon Book. Uh, they actually talked to me back and forth in Goodreads and recommend me a lot of books. And they told me about this book box that I had never heard of before but I was immediately intrigued. So I reached out to the company and they said that they would send me a free box to do an unboxing video on my channel. And here it is. So I'm really excited to find out what's in this box because I got it about like two weeks ago now. And wow, my Canadian's really coming out with my about. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I got this a little while ago and I'm pretty excited to find out what's in the box. And I really want to thank the company for sending me this box because that's just so nice of you to send me a box to show off on my channel. So anyways, let's get into the unboxing and find out what there is. Okay, can't open this. Oh, okay, so... Starts off with like a little booklet. Um... So this is for the October box. We're a little bit late to this one, but it took a while to get here. So let's see what's in the October box. Oh, I guess this is the guide to see what's inside. So I'm not even gonna do this. I'll look at this after if I like don't know what something is. Oh, that's also a piece of paper telling me everything that's in there. Let's go move on to the next part. So we have once, what is this? Is this food? Ooh. I feel like this is chocolate and I love chocolate. I'm so excited. Okay, it's a vampire. It says once bitten, forever smitten. So yeah, I think this is definitely chocolate. Amanda's famous marshmallow generously sandwiched between two handmade chocolate biscuits with a dollop of black currant jam and drizzled in the finest Belgian chocolate. Huh. I don't know if I like the taste of black currant. I don't even know if I've even had a black currant before, but I'm curious to see what this tastes like. And I'm, yeah, that's that's a very interesting flavor, but it has chocolate in it, so I'm bound to like it. But yeah, I'm excited. And then we have this postcard that says, you deserve someone to show you mercy. And this is the picture on it. It's kind of ominous, but like also a good message, so. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, it's a postcard, so I can send this off to somebody. So yeah. We also checked, and this is actually Nurse Ratchet from the Netflix show Ratchet. It says on the back of the postcard, I just didn't look close enough. So that's really cool because I haven't watched that show yet, but I watched the trailer for it and it looks really good. And so I definitely want to watch that show because I feel like it's going to be so like messed up. And it also has Sarah Paulson and she's phenomenal. So yeah. That's really cool. I'm pumped to have this now. Ooh, we have a bookmark. I love bookmarks. So it says, it came from the woods. Strength, strange things always do. And it has the queer book box logo. And then this is the picture on it, which is somewhat creepy. And I do not know what this ominous figure is. <laughs> if anybody knows if this is like from something specifically, then let me know. I will look it up in the thing afterwards to find out. But yeah, that is definitely a creepy bookmark and I'm pumped to add that to my like pile of bookmarks that I go through. Ooh, and we got a pen, which I can take to work with me. So the focus is not great, but here's the pen. It says, have some pride in your shelf and it's got like a little rainbow icon there. I am definitely taking this to work with me and using this at my desk or with my new planner. I just bought a new planner and I'm really excited about it because I feel like it's gonna help me stay a lot more organized. So maybe I'll like use this with that as well, but I really like this pen. And then next up we have some tattoos that were in the box and they're all like, they all have pretty funny messages. So this one says, spoiler alert, it's gay. Uh, this is just queer book box. This one says, I love books to death. This one says, queer books forever. This one has, uh, dialogue with a dagger going through it and then the bottom one says the book was better 
So these are some fun temporary tattoos that I will definitely wear from here and there. I don't know like how often I'll wear these, but they're only temporary, so why not? I've always considered getting a tattoo, but I think the one tattoo, like if I ever got a tattoo, would probably be a little volleyball, because that's like my biggest passion other than books is like playing that sport. And I think that's what I would get, but I don't know. I still haven't tried even to like start to think about getting a tattoo. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, that's what I think I would get, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever get a tattoo. Then we have a little assembly of like mini comics and this is called <laughs> Notice Me Satan. <laughs> um, I have no idea what this is about, but it sounds pretty hilarious. Uh, it's like got a cat figure with wings. And I like the color scheme of it. Oh goodness. <laughs> this, this looks very interesting. I like the art style though. It's pretty cool. I'll definitely read this in like five, probably less than five minutes because it doesn't look like there's much to this book. It's very, very tiny, but yeah, this is really cool. And then the last part of this box is the big book, which is a graphic novel and it's called Through the Woods, stories by Emily Carroll. I don't know if it's Carroll or Carol. We're gonna go with Emily Carroll. So this is Through the Woods by Emily Carroll, but this is a pretty, like the, the cover of this feels really nice. It's like the textured lettering on it. And it's also like textured here too. It feels really cool. And the art is actually pretty adorable. Like I think I would like this. I have no idea what the story is about, but they look very like chilling and in theme with Halloween, which just passed. So that could be nice because I didn't really have any chilling or scary books during the month of October and I wanted that. So maybe I'll read this just like as a pick me up quickly and see if I can get creeped out by it. I really like this though. This is really cool. So yeah, that's the queer book box. They graciously sent that to me and I am so thankful that they did that. That was so nice of them to send me that box. I love all the stuff that's in it and I know I'm definitely going to be using the pen. I'm going to be using the bookmark. I'm going to eat the hell out of that chocolate and I'm going to read that graphic novel very shortly. I'm super excited about everything that was in that box. It looks like a really good box. I will put more information about queer book box down in the description below. I believe that they have multiple options for subscription boxes. I think the highest paid one is like $45 and then there's a lower tier one that's around 20 ish dollars. But yeah, I'll put all that information down below so you guys can go check them out as well. All right, why not jump into the small book haul now and I can show you guys a couple of the books that I picked up over October. So the first book was actually just from Marcus. He grabbed Empress for me in paperback because I had Diabolic in paperback, but then I had Empress in hardcover. And so he wanted to help me have them matching on the shelves. So now we have both of them in paperback and I will probably be getting rid of the hardcover now. Marcus also picked me up Villain, which is part of the Gone series. And this was one of the ones I don't have for the series. I think the last one I'm missing now is called Hero. And I haven't read any of these books, <laughs> but <laughs> we're just slowly collecting them without even knowing if we like them or not <laughs> because we keep finding deals on them. So yeah, now we have this one. He also got me Containment and this is the sequel to Sanctuary, which is behind me. Sanctuary was one of the books that I predicted would be a like five star read for me. So knowing that now I have the sequel just makes me want to pick it up even more. And I also found out that the final book in this trilogy is at the stores. So I'll have to buy that one next time I'm there. But yeah, we're almost done that trilogy of another series that neither of us have read. <laughs> this is the life of a booktuber or book lover in general. We just buy books, not even knowing if we're going to like them or not. And yeah. We're also completionists and we have to finish series. So like if we have a series that we don't have finished on the shelves and we haven't even read the series yet, we still need to complete them. It's just, it's just part of who we are. I managed to pick up a memory called Empire at our used bookstore for less than $10 in hardcover. So that was super exciting. And I was also super pumped about this. I found Frankly in Love by David Yoon and it is the painted edges edition, which is like super exciting because I also got this for less than $10 in hardcover from the same bookstore. This was like a solid find for me and I was so excited when I found it. 
I mean sprayed edges. I just said painted edges and I don't know why, but it's sprayed edges. And then Marcus picked up Middle Game by Shauna McGuire. This book is Marcus's book technically, but it's on my wish list of a book that I want to read. So now we have it on our shelves and I can pick it up at some point. And then lastly, we have The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. This is also Marcus's book, but I am very excited to read this book. And it's kind of part of our Reindeer Readathon. We're doing a read along of this book. So, or not a read along, we're doing a group buddy read of this book. So Marcus and I are both gonna be reading it and hopefully it's a good book. I've heard from many people that it's a very good book. Marcus also thinks it's going to be a fantastic book, hence why he bought it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And lastly, this isn't a book, but I'm just super excited about it. So the Reindeer Readathon was my last video that I posted, which was the announcement to tell you guys about the readathon coming up in December. And we got bookmarks printed for it. So these are the bookmarks. They're double sided. And yeah, so we have these for sale if you want to like support the Reindeer Readathon or if you're participating and you want an official Reindeer Readathon bookmark, I will put that in the description down below so you can check them out yourselves. Let me know what you guys thought of the queer book box that I just unboxed and if you thought any of the stuff in there was cool. Also, let me know if you picked up any books in October that you were super excited about because I'm always down to just be excited with other people about books that they are excited about. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Um, once again, thank you to Queer Book Box for sending me a box to unbox on my channel. I'm saying the word box a lot. If you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below, as well as links to the bookmarks if you want to get one of those. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I post videos every Monday and Thursday. And until next time, keep on reading.